Welcome back to theme. Uh, welcome back to theme park wizard. And today we have our very special good old pal Orange Grove Fifty Five with this cool, phantasmic <laughs> shirt. How art thou? Hey, theme park wizard. Thank you for having me on, buddy. It's been a while. I always love uh, chatting Disney with you, man. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's been a couple months, and today we have a whole. Well, not a whole lot of things, but some cool things to talk about, <laughs> starting with Mulan. I bought Mulan. I haven't watched it yet, but are you planning to buy Mulan this holiday weekend? Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm, I was planning on a- after work, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually buy it and check it out tonight. So I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Oh, good, good. I expect a review on your channel, mister. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I saw, I went to D23 last year, last August, mm-hmm. and um, at the studio panel, they showed us like, it was probably maybe 10 or 15 minutes of, mm-hmm. uh, of Mulan, and I was really impressed by it. I thought it looked really, really cool. This is one of the live action films that I think could really translate even better in live action than the animated version, so we'll see how it pans out, but I'm, I'm pretty excited, man. Yeah, same. Some people, I mean... <laughs> The critics say it's a as good or as Aladdin and some of the Jungle Book. So, and those are my favorite live action ones. So that means I'm pretty excited for this one. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny about you mentioned Aladdin. Mm-hmm. When I saw the trailers, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be a hot mess. It's gonna <laughs> be a hot mess. And then I watched it, and I was like, actually, I really dig this. And Naomi Scott. Um, as Jasmine, she was pr- flawless in that role, and the film mm-hmm. almost felt like a Princess Jasmine standalone movie, which I actually kind of liked because mm-hmm. it made it feel different than the animated version. I really, really, really liked the live action Aladdin. Really liked it. Yeah, I've seen that probably about four or five times so far. I like all the music, and I like the colors, and I like Will Smith. He does a great job in the genie role. Yeah, he he added his own little flavor to it. Like you can't. The thing with Robin Williams is he he's you can't imitate Robin Williams. The genie uh-uh. in '92 in the animated version was that was Robin Williams, and that only uh-huh. Robin Williams can really do that shtick. Uh-huh. Um, and because that was really like if you watch Robin Williams like stand up comedy skits uh-huh. and all that, that's his stick. That's what he does. So you can't. If Will Smith would have came into that role and tried to imitate Robin Williams, it would have fell flat. And it was smart for Will Smith to go in there and, and be his own version of the genie. I think he did a really good job at it. I actually really liked him. Yeah, and even the uh, Aladdin himself, uh, I can't even say his name, but the Masood <laughs> guy, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's like, he is like Aladdin. He's, he is him. Yeah, he, he, like, he was he was great. The only role I didn't really love was Jafar. I thought he was Yeah, kind of Jafar. Didn't really put a lot of umph into it you know kind of just, uh, you know he didn't seem like i like i wasn't even scared of the guy you know <laughs> and also i can tell what he's doing i'm like look and you you obviously don't seem like you're good intentions i would have taken that tiger and said go eat that boy <laughs> <laughs> but yeah was, uh, so i'm so excited for this one uh even though there's like no mushu or the music I honestly don't even remember. I've seen Mulan, but I just don't remember Mulan, the old Mulan, because it wasn't like one of my favorite animated movies. So I have, I've probably seen it like once. So when they sit there and take out some stuff or the songs and the Mushu, I didn't really like care because I didn't really remember it. But, um, you know, it seems to be doing well. And it seems like it's not even that the um, animated one seemed like it was more, you know, Disney-like. But this one seems like it was like, Almost like a war type of film, you know, like yeah. a, like a real like a realism type. Of film. I like I like the little change they got there. I, I like that, and I think it's smarter for Disney when they're thinking about doing live action movies not to not to do a live action version of a movie that's like considered a cinematic masterpiece. You know, when you have to follow the sh- the, the footprints of like a Lion King or a Beauty and the Beast, mm-hmm. it's really really difficult. Those movies are seen as masterpieces. You know, mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're damn near flawless, and it's very hard to follow that act. Where mm-hmm. Mulan, the animated version, a lot of people liked it, but like you said, it, was, it wasn't like Disney's greatest. Like, you can definitely make a better movie. There, mm-hmm. There's room for potential there to make it better, whereas these other movies like Beauty and the Beast, how do you even make that, how do you make that better? It's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. 
and things like the Lion King, you know, people rightly so were upset when it basically was like a shot for shot remake. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta, if you, if you can't just make the same movie that you made like 30 years ago, that sounds almost like plagiarism in, the, in some ways. <laughs> you just made like a better, and it wasn't even like a live action because there was like no like real people. So it was almost like just a better animated version of The Lion King. Well, and, and the problem, so. yeah, exactly. And and Ethan, the problem with the Lion King live action version was mm-hmm. that like the lions and the animals were so real that they had like no. Oh, yeah, emotions. you can't can't see the yeah, I can't like in the animated have the big eyes when the yeah. like, uh, set. But you know, real uh, real lions go to the zoo. They're just they're just looking like this. So you know, can't really animate the lions when it's so real. So that it was also a bad thing well yeah they, they took one of disney's most emotional movies they've ever done in the lion king a lion king was an extremely emotional movie and they turned it into like a completely emotionless version of that <laughs> of that of that movie it, it, for me it didn't work and i love john favreau the director of lion king he did oh, a yeah. phenomenal job with mandalorian and i love his movie book. chef what was that jungle book Jungle Book was another phenomenal one, mm-hmm. but hey, you know what? Everyone has a bad day at the office, so we mm-hmm. forgive we forgive John on that one. But still, exactly, <laughs> and even his bad day made a billion dollars. So <laughs> right. <really> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Not such a bad day after all, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you're gonna buy Mulan, and if you're gonna watch. I did a poll on Twitter to see who's gonna buy, pay the thirty dollars, and surprisingly a lot of people said uh, over 50 percent of them said yes so that's some wow. good news i think they said if just like 14 percent of disney plus subscribers like get the 30 dollar one instead of waiting till december the movie would have made his money back so that's good so support the disney they're losing some money so spend yeah. 30 dollars <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. support them because otherwise yeah. it's going to be hell for the next few years we're not going to get anything then <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I have actually a question. So you know you have multiple people on your account, right? Like, you know, like 10 or whatever. Um, 10 people, 10 profile p- things on your Yeah. So if one person buys it, all 10 of them can watch it, right? Because you're they're using your account or do they each have to buy it? I would assume that it, if, if the account purchases Mulan, every mm-hmm. person attached to that account can watch it. Mm-hmm. Because just like the subscription, where mm-hmm. you pay for the subscription and all those people have access to that subscription, I would mm-hmm. imagine the same rules would apply for the premier access for Mulan. Now, I don't know for sure. I haven't bought, I haven't bought Mulan yet. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I'm going to look into that tonight when I watch it, when I, when I do buy it, I'm going to check that out and see if each person yeah. in my group can watch it. That would be kind of a rip off if not. Like if, if, yeah, they, if, they, if they make each person do it, cause it's one, yeah. it, it's one account still, even though there's multiple mm-hmm. people, you know? Yeah. And yeah. So like, yeah, that would make no sense. And then it really makes the 30, like be a five, like mine, I have like seven people on there. So I mean, obviously I'm not going to ask them to pay me only $30, but like if someone really did want to do that, like they can strip the $30 down to each person on the account and then becomes like five dollars a piece or something so it's really like not too bad it's not bad it's, it's cheaper than going to the movies i mean think about it. if you took if you and those seven people that you have on your account went to the theater to go see mulan mm-hmm. dude, it'd be like two hundred dollars or something i mean it's like yeah and that's like, a without, ticket. The, without the popcorn and stuff too so that's <laughs> terrible. yeah 15 times yeah at least 225 dollars that's insane but uh speaking of movie theaters those aren't open a nope. With a lot of stuff. <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot, a lot, of stuff. And <laughs> Ka- Gavin Newsom's California new uh, guidelines were back in the purple zone, although Orange County will be in the red zone on September eighth. But <laughs> once again, when we got our, the new guidelines, <laughs> the poor theme parks are the only things that are always omitted. Those things. I feel like that's like discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> Theme yeah. parks are like minorities. They're always just they're always left <laughs> out of the cool stuff. Yeah, golf, yeah, uh, golfing, movie theaters. If you look at the whole list on there, basically every single thing, even concerts and stuff, are listed in the minimal zone. But theme parks are the only thing out of there. So we're still left in the gray area. So much so that even Legoland, the president of Legoland, says, "When are we gonna get these guidelines?" When Legoland's upset. 
then it's business. Oh yeah, then it's business, man. Because Le- Legoland never loses their cool. When they do, it's over. Yeah, <laughs> Legoland is so happy. So when they're even asking, that means we have a problem here. Well, I don't. And I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> and this is the thing I don't really understand with with California. <laughs> is like. Florida opened their theme parks a long time mm-hmm. ago. Like like Universal in Florida, they, they June opened their 5th. Theme, June fifth. That's like few, what three months now? Three months. Disney yeah, World has been open for like six weeks now. Sea World mm-hmm. over there has been open, I think, since June. And there haven't been any outbreaks linked to the theme parks yet. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why California can't look at Florida and be like, Well, look, they haven't had a problem. Let's open it up here. I don't what's the hold up? Yeah, then some reason, like, even like in Vegas, the Adventure Dome, which is an indoor theme park, that's been open since June, and Vegas and Nevada has some declining cases. So, but I just so confused as how think, a couple months ago, and I can still say I went to a Nordstrom with my friend. She wanted some shoes, so I went to Nordstrom, and this person or in this line at the checkout station inside, and this person has a mask on she takes her mask off to sneeze and then puts her mask back on i'm like and then the people that can't no one said anything I'm oh like, my god what? how do you get so i'm like how can i be standing here and no one's saying here but when every time we go to city walk or when i went to taste of uh calico with my brother i, I was at, when i was at city walk on monday my mask slipped just below my nose and like within 10 seconds the security guard nicely said hey can you put your mask back up i'm like yeah oh yeah sure my bad and that at tate at knott's bay farm when we we're finished eating my brother sometimes forgot to put his mask back on then within 30 seconds someone told him to put his mask back on but so i mean i feel much safer at these places just at the city walk in knott's and i'm sure downtown disney than i do in my local nordstrom so i don't understand <laughs> what, what guidelines they have to and they say they're actively talking about it. Like, I understand you'd have to be active, actively talking about it. It's like the first set of theme parks to open. But in Europe, they're open. And Vegas, they're Shanghai. open. Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai, Australia. So I feel like there, there's like not much to actively talk about. Because what else can you possibly do? more than what they're doing at these other places like i don't don't understand i don't either and and with that everybody down below you can sign the petition to recall governor newsom i'm just kidding (laughs) and voice your support for the opening of any type of theme park (laughs) exactly exactly (laughs) but yeah hopefully i hope maybe on labor after labor day something because there's a lot of signs of activity yeah do you watch the matter cam on the for the uh matterhorn camera at that website i i do watch it i i used to watch it a lot more when when they were testing world of color back in like mm-hmm. 2009 and 10 but i still watch matter cam it's pretty cool man i, I yeah. enjoy it there's um because on the matter cam i've seen, probably seen all the articles there's been signs of People inspecting the Matterhorn track and tree trimming around the places and the Pixar Pal around testing. So there's some, then there's signs of the lights become on, like Guardians of the Galaxy has the lights on at night now with the marquee. So a sign there's some hustle and bustle in the park. So hopefully something soon. Hopefully, hopefully, man. And and I saw your video the other day. I'm actually going to do a video soon, probably this weekend on it. But Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway lives. It lives. We're getting it. <laughs> oh, and it hasn't yes. been canceled. It lives. I I figured it wouldn't be canceled, which is good. But I, but it's nice to see the steel erected and uh, construction moving fast. Obviously, there's a, a I'd say a six to twelve month delay just because it went from 2022 to 2023. People who automatic means that's a year delay, but you know, it could if it was like if it goes from like summer twenty twenty two to spring twenty twenty three, that's not even a full year. So yeah. you know, I feel like and it makes sense because you had like a four month stoppage of work, so it's a four month delay. So obviously it would be pushed back a little bit. But yeah. It, it's still coming, so that's good. 
Yeah, it's still coming. I mean, and and it really kind of like, yeah, like you said, it wasn't too much of a shock because number one, they've already started construction on it. It was kind of too late. I mean, they were kind of already, they've already destroyed other buildings, backstage mm -hmm. buildings. They've started construction on it. And on top of that, it's a clone. So they probably already have like um, set pieces and stuff already created because they buy a lot of the stuff in double because it's cheaper for them to do that that way mm -hmm. so a lot of the sets and probably a lot of the like the little animatronics and stuff are probably already sitting in a warehouse somewhere waiting to be installed because they've already built mm -hmm. the same stuff in florida a year ago mm -hmm. you know exactly and what i've been i saw in some of these forms uh, people already just had some <laughs> cool ideas is that since obviously most of it's <laughs> uh, the two and a half d projection is that maybe i guess in the Florida scene, a lot of people say that tornado scene is kind of like empty. So they had the idea that maybe Disneyland's version could improve on the Florida's version and add more like projections and stuff in those different scenes, which I think that's a pretty cool idea. Like, because you don't have too many, since it's mostly like projection based, they can take any type of complaint or, you know, someone unsatisfactory comments from the ones in Florida. And then for Disneyland's version, enhance those scenes a little bit with new projections, which is an interesting idea. Well, yeah, I agree with you. And and Disneyland also has an advantage in the fact that we don't have to, we do not have to accommodate an old building. You know, Florida mm -hmm. had to work within the perimeter of the existing great movie ride, where mm -hmm. California, we're building from the ground up. So mm -hmm. they can really tailor it to what the show needs. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Where like in Florida, they had to sort of like work around an existing structure. It, it was different. And speaking of that, did you, you probably uh, saw <laughs> that still beam that was erected? Right. Do you see how tall that thing is? That thing's like three to four stories high. That I feel like we might have like a bigger building than the one in Florida. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be huge. And it seems like being so close to Toontown, Mm -hmm. they're going to have to find a way to address the sightline issue. And I hope they come up with a really cool, like, backdrop, you know, mm -hmm. better than the, than, the, than the cheesy little green hills we had before. I hope we get something better. <laughs> the green hills that were peeling away every summer when the sun was blasting on them. Yeah. Um. Give, give us something a little, more, a little more 3D, you know, a little more like, a, like, the, like the hills that are over Mickey's house, like something like that. Yeah, like some kind of pops a little bit. And those, because they're 3D, they don't fade or peel as much because they have that they have that different, more expensive material, which is good. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it would be very interesting making Maze Runaway Railway. And there was, I know there's rumors of a third one in Paris, so it's possible they have just a whole bunch of, like three sets of animatronics sitting around somewhere. Yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's pretty cool. And, and you know what the cool part too, like not to toot California's horn too much, but like, mm -hmm. but like, um, we're, we're not losing anything with this attraction. You know, oh, we're, yeah. we're losing, we're losing, we're losing a store. Well, so what, you know, yeah. you know, we, so we, we, we're getting a brand new attraction with not, without losing another attraction and even Galaxy's Edge, we didn't really lose anything. So you know, Florida might have the blessing of size, but you know what? We're kind of, we don't have to, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not getting rid of stuff. You know, we're just adding, you know? Yeah, I always found that so funny, especially Hollywood Studios. It only had like, before that, like six attractions or something. Have, and if you look at the space, they have all these flat parks and they have so much space that they don't even need a parking garage and they're still, they still are just replacing things where we're just, finding every nook and cranny to expand and so you know yeah they have the blessing of size but the people over here obviously uh, know how to utilize space a little bit better <laughs> yeah definitely Te team like, team west coast team west coast <laughs> avengers e ticket they have the they're using just from the parking lot area and even with avengers campus i feel like we lost something but I mean, I don't feel like many people care what we yeah. lost because you can find those at a local the LA County Fair, Orange County Fair. Yeah. <laughs> and one of them got moved over to uh, Pixar Pier anyway. So you only lost two things. <laughs> well, yeah. And, and you know what? I, I, look at, I look at Avengers Campus as sort of planting the seeds. Like, and what mm -hmm. I mean by that is like, 
there's nothing that they could have added. Like Bugsland didn't have a lot of potential. There wasn't much mm-hmm. they could really add going forward. It was. It's kind of a. It's kind of. It's a good movie. I like the movie, but it's a dead mm-hmm. franchise, you know. Mm-hmm. But like Avengers and Marvel is is a, it's an evergreen brand. It's always popular, even before Disney bought it. I mean, Marvel's mm-hmm. been around for like eighty years or something. I mean. So the yeah. potential now going forward with new attractions and new experiences and new stuff is better than it was with Bugsland. It, it's definitely um, it's definitely a plusing for the park, no doubt. Mm-hmm. And speaking of that, I'm sure you saw Whoopi Goldberg called for the Wakanda expansion to Disney theme parks to honor Chadwick Boseman. I feel like if they have nothing else to do with Hollywood land, I feel like if they even just ripped that part and kind of did a Marvel and expansion, but made that like a really cool Wakanda area. I feel like it's going oh, yeah. like, be like a really cool opportunity. Well, definitely. And, and, and the cool thing about Black Panther, um, well, first of all, Chad, Chadwick Bo- uh, Bosman, I mean, icon, legend, genius. I mean, he's, they, mm-hmm. they, they're never going to find an, I hope they never recast Black Panther. Because he oh, is the definitive. Not. I'm gonna boycott. <laughs> yeah, they can't. I mean, they can't. You know, and um, but the cool thing about the but about Black Panther is like it has roots in California. You know, the beginning mm-hmm. of the movie and the end of the movie both take place in California. And I think at the end mm-hmm. of the movie, didn't they build a Wakanda outreach center in like Long Beach? Yeah, Vietnam? like like Oakland or something. Oakland. Yeah, Oakland. yeah. But yeah, so, the whole, they have three buildings there, so it makes sense. It makes sense. There's that connection to California. It, it wouldn't be too hard for Imagineers to make that connection to the to the park. Um, it's a huge franchise, massive, massive, massive franchise, and um, they have the room for it. I mean, we have Hollywood Land. Everything in Hollywood Land, in my opinion, is pretty much expendable. Yeah. So go have at it, man. Go do it. Do give us a big e-ticket Black Panther ride. I'm down for it. Right. Yeah, and then just like if they can fit that massive, you know that. The, the, in the movie, they have that mountain, but like it's the, the it's the shape of a panther. If they can somehow fit that, that'd be like what an oh, epic yeah. entrance! Oh yeah, like, just looming over the park, man. That'd be dope. We'll have a panther on one end and a grizzly on the other. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the animals of California ra- <laughs> raging through. It'd be great. It'd be great. <laughs> that would be California's Adventures answer to Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, but yeah, and then bench camps. Wow. Well, but yeah, that's some great stuff. And hopefully, now I see probably seen those rumors of a like a September opening for the park. I heard. I guess blog Mickey says they're targeting internally targeting September twenty eighth. Um, I and I know reservations were canceled only through September nineteenth. Well, it seems like a shorter period. Then when yeah. they have really been canceling them, they, it seems like before they've been canceling the reservations it's like for like three or four weeks, but this time it's been like a week or two from the last time. So that might uh, that might say something. You know, I think that. it does. I think it does. I mean, the fact that Newsom is meeting with Disney, the fact that there's active talks, the fact that Florida had a successful open, the fact that the cast members now are petitioning to get the parks reopened. Yeah, you know, all bodes well. <laughs> For, for the park reopening <laughs> soon. And all those, the rides are testing and all that other stuff. So it seems there's a, like a bus hustle and bustle. And I, I'm having an optimistic, optimistic grin on my face. Last <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we're going to see the opening of Disneyland and uh, DCA pretty soon. I think, I think by October, for sure. Like you said, <laughs> Mickey Blog was saying like they were shooting for like the end of September. I, I think so. I, I don't see why not. If, if, they go, if they go much longer, people are going to start to really get fed up. I mean, the cases aren't skyrocketing. And other, the parks in Florida and around the country are opening without much of a problem. And there's no need to keep everything shut down anymore. You know, just be safe. Just wear a mask and just social distance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, girl, what was that? oh yeah, and da- I'm sorry you saw that you saw the uh, picture I shared on Facebook with you, with Downtown Disney being so packed of uh, those last night, so much of they extended the hours a few days ago, but people need their Disney fix. Yep, pa- you know what? That's great news. Pack them in, pack them in. The more money Disney makes, the better chance we'll get that Avengers E ticket. <laughs> exactly, you know, and that's <laughs> I'm still one of the people that believes that's still like not canceled. I feel like no. 
Because like you said in your videos, Avengers is just too big of a property to just like, cancel the thing. Yeah. So even if it's delayed, I feel like it's still going to happen. And really, like, much sooner than later, because I feel like, you know, Marvel and Avengers is just too big of a something to just, to just not build it. Yeah, there's certain things that, like, you know, they can cancel and just sort of, like, forget about. Like, for example, like the Spaceship Earth uh, renovation, oh, yeah, reimagining really, yeah. um, for Epcot. Like, that's something that they can shelve for years, and no one's going to really shed any tears over it. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, with, with Avengers, it's a huge property. I mean, there's no way they're going to leave that money on the table. It's just mm -hmm. not going to happen. They're going to they're gonna build it. It'll be delayed for sure, but they're going to build it one way or the other. Especially with that, uh, that has a, there's a visual reminder in Avengers Campus that on everyone's faces, the Quinjet is sitting up top there with the facade of the, what well, was supposed to be the facade of the uh, e-tickets right in everyone's faces. So you can't possibly forget that, they're, that they were promised an attraction over there. Yeah, and that Quinjet looks so badass. Like, when I saw that, I didn't think it was going to look that cool. I really didn't. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to yeah, look that cool, yeah. and it looks amazing. Yeah, especially from the back, that, that picture where there, everyone was standing in front of those the twin engines like that. I'm like, whoa, that feels like <laughs> you just get in there and just fly that thing. Yeah, it, look, it looks amazing. It, I can't wait. Hey, man, well, it was great having you on. Subscribe to Orange Go 55 and... Go buy his Thrasher inspired Phantasmic shirt because it looks super cool. <laughs> and then, like, did you make that or did you get that? No, um, I actually found it online. I'll um, I'll send you the link. I don't know if they still have. It's been like two years, but I'll send you the link. It was it was uh, it was some website. It was like three twenty one threads or something like that. But I'll send you the website. And uh, maybe if you want to add it below in the description. But uh, yeah, man, I, I, when I saw it, I, I had to get it. <laughs> like, that was so <laughs> cool. But yeah, subscribe to Orange Real 55. And as always, have a fantastic day. Peace out.